All right. I'm going to show you how to remove the flywheel. Just grab the. What you can do is get the. I've got a cordless impact here. 18 volt. So just put it on the verge. That's your nut off. And you'll take this mechanism off it. The next stage is, because these are stuck on there, put your nut back on. Yeah, this is the way I got it off. Just so you don't you don't want to go damaging the fridge, you want to make sure the nuts flush. You need yourself a piece of wooden hammer. What you do is, is I jam this wood in here. As you can see where I forced it in there. I actually bash this wood in and then I got my hammer and I I'll give it a couple of smacks just like that and you can just take your nut off just like that you haven't messed up the thread haven't done any damage to it sitting out of sight and you can pull your flywheel off this thing was um running like shit and I don't know if you can see the spark plug or not one's black where it was misfiring and oily so what you do is you get your multimeter you want to switch on to ohms do it and try and do something half uh, half ass what the condenser does is it, it stores power and it makes it fire each time if it's got a bad condenser it'll pop and carry on and it won't give spark to the coil so what we'll do is I'll take this off Don't lose your nut and washer. I've got a little magnet here. I'm going to show you how to pick it up. Just sit that side. I've got a little magnet to, to fish that nut out carefully. Like that. Always keep the magnet handy. And what we need to do is you grab the screwdriver. Just unscrew this. And this will come straight out. Just like that. Take this out. And this is how you test them. You put your plus in here. Hook your plus wire up. Like that. And then just touch the body of it. And this is 21. Is 21 point. Oh, it's over 20 anyway. 21. 24 goes up to 24 whatever that's a good condenser if this was reading like only 0.7 or 1 this would be bad so apparently the average has got to be about 1.8 so I'll set that multimeter back down there and put this condenser back in I'm going to push that back in get my little nut I'll do that condenser up in a second. I'll just put my nut on here. It's very fiddly too. To get this nut back on. Do that up like that. Put our condenser in there. You don't have to do it up too tight so you strip them. Alright, now we'll get our ratchet. And that's how you test these condensers or compact capacitors or whatever people want to call them. Now you want to do this up because this is a point scan. Don't want to do it up too tight so you break it. Just that's heat because this is only plastic. So don't go wrecking anything. Yep. Right now, I've got the impact socket here, and what you've got to do is with these points, you spin it around. Oh, got to tighten up the nut first. This is how I've been doing it. See the points open and closing. So what you got to do is you stick your feeler gauge in here.
better than the waters. So you know you can do with adjustment a bit more. So how you do these is the right screw rod. It's always important to make sure you've got a big screw rod. You don't want to go stripping these like I said, screws. This screw drive's a little bit big. To get in there, that's alright. So what we do is, is you can open and close your points by this tabby. Make sure this is pushed up against the um, like that. You see I can open and close the points here. So what we do is is we'll stick the feeler gauge in there. I'm going to get the screw. And what I'll do is I'll just tighten the screw, but I'll make sure I can pull the feeler gauge in and out before I go tight down. Feels a little bit tight. What we'll do is just put the screwdriver in there, just back that off a little bit. Perfect. Now, what we'll do is we'll get our bigger screwdriver and we'll tighten them down. Just like that, and that's how you do your points. You got to make sure that it's in the right spot. And you can watch them open and close. Each rotation, and then when it comes round, to open it back up. I find this mark on here. There's a mark on there, right near, just before the keyway. You can put your fuel gauge in there. You check the gap. You've got to do that on both of them. Just like that, and I'll do the other side. I won't film that. And that's how you set your point. Now, if you're wondering what's the sign of these points if they've got a bad gap or a bad capacity, what this motor was doing is that this engine was missing. I'd go to rev it up, like you know, give it some throttle. That's just the vance time of it. And what it'll do is it'd be admissing, it'd be popping. I thought it was an air leak on the mixture screw. I've been playing around that, took the carby off, it cleaned all that out. I thought it was an air leak in the back of the motor. And um, it was missing, oh, it'd rev up, and then it'd like it'd be over fuel, and it's smoking heaps and just misfire and popping heaps. And um, I noticed that when I took the spark plugs out to check them, I pulled them out. And I noticed the bottom one was black, and then the spark was playing up on both cylinders. It was a real nightmare. But then I realised that someone had set the gap on the points. Someone had already been in here before. It was nice of them. They stripped the screw in the plate. They actually set the gap too wide, and that's what was causing the misfire. And the motor never run properly when the gap's too big. So now I fix that. And I showed you how to put the flywheel. To put the flywheel back on, I'll show you that right now. It's as easy as just lining it up. And then to put the flywheel back on, just line up this keyway, which the keyway is right there. Just line it up. And our flywheel's back on. Then we've got our plate. This is actually a pull starter assist. We can wrap the cord. These three dimples go no back in here. That locks it in there. And put our nut back on. That's how you set your points on these at 0 0.20 on these Chrysler engines, 10, 15 horsepower, more. 
I've actually got it written. Let's get rid of the end. Points get very too high on the field again. And that's what we've got to be set at. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and um, leave a comment if you have any questions. And that's how you do a point on a prize or outboard or any outboard really.